Hi there, everybody. Uh, it's uh, TVS here, and boy, is it cold here in Texas today. Anyways, uh, we're going to take a look at, uh, I bought a, a whole little lot of uh, the custom Lego Motu or Masters of the Universe uh, little mini brick figures, little Lego guys. And um, these are pretty interesting. Uh, I already did a little review of uh, four, the four figures, uh, the four good guys. Now we're going to look at four bad guys, and we're going to assemble one, which you'll probably figure out just looking at them. But uh, yeah, this is kind of, these are kind of good and bad. The, bad. the good guys were a little bit more complete and made more sense, but I mean, ah, the bad guys aren't bad either, but I was kind of down about Skeletor because Skeletor just, you know, this might lie a little bit better. But yeah, Skeletor, his uh, little weapon, just this is all you got, so that was kind of bunk. But other than that, the figure itself as a whole is not bad. Um, the color's a little weird, I guess, on the hood that my buddy uh, Overlord... Uh, pointed out of Overlord Toy Reviews uh, pointed out and uh, but other than that his like little uh, outfit and stuff man his little chest armor and his loincloth and belt all that's pretty cool the skull uh, little decal or tampo is not bad at all uh, his little cloth cape's cool or nylon cape whatever you want to call it and uh, all in all he's not bad not a bad little figure just his weapon kind of sucks that's the only thing I mean you gotta and you have to do some more customization. I'll find something to put on here. And uh, people pointed out, especially Overlord, that you could just take, uh, I guess, Skeletor's um, Mega Constructs thing and do that or whatever with it, you know. You could do that. But uh, for review's sake, we're just going to, yeah. I don't know if mine just came like this or what, but um, I'll have to look again on eBay and see if there's a more complete version of this weapon. Or if I just got gypped because these all came sealed and stuff obviously and um next up is triclops triclops is kind of weird because he doesn't have one eye he has two he's got like kind of a night helmet um they did a cool job on his armor this armor is really cool it's very reminiscent of triclops with the three little like you know to represent the three little cuts right here on his uh his little shoulder part of his little I don't know what you call this thing. I guess it's like his, it's not a tunic, is it, or whatever? I don't know. But anyways, it's, it's a part of his weird kind of uh, outfit. And his belt color's right on. His uh, black panties are right on. His black feet for his little black boots are right on. Everything's right on, pretty much. Sword, you just got like a green pirate sword. And you got like a, a green uh, knight head. But you got this little angry dude right there with two eyes. He's supposed to have one eye, but I don't know, maybe you could position it really can't position his head enough to have him just and I tried uh, to have one eye and I tried to take some Axe body spray to see if I could just uh, rub out uh, one of the little decals and actually the decals are pretty strong you can't even take them off with Axe body spray you can actually take off ink off of figures like Sharpie and stuff like that and, and pen ink but not with uh, can't take the little tampo decals off of these things pretty durable unless you just take a sander to it or something or whatever but I'm not going to do that but yeah, Triclops isn't bad, but he's not that cool either. I mean, I don't know. It's just not what you're used to. And then a Merman's really not bad. I like his uh, little decal for his armor and stuff. That's pretty much spot on. Even his uh, little yellow panties and his little yellow thong. And uh, really not bad. It's funny because uh, I, was, I was talking to Brother Overlord and I was like, man, that's pretty much the Wolverine head, like mask right there on him. But it works. It really works. And you know what else makes a good merman is that uh, they had this monster series way back, and they had a um, like a like a creature from the Black Lagoon type monster, and that would he would work as also as a great uh, custom merman. But uh, his sword's cool because you got one of those standard Lego pieces. I forget what these go to, but I've seen gray versions of these, and I think I had someone had some Legos, and that just you know pops right out, and that's a good idea for the sort of Rakash or whatever. If I, ooh. Let me see. Uh, but yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let me take off his mask. Oh, his mask wants to come off. Yeah. And he's just got like a little green mad kind of monster face. I don't know if it's a monster face or what, but he's just got like a... On his grill, like he just ate a turkey sandwich mayonnaise all over it or something like that. But yeah. But with this Wolverine mask, it pretty much works. It's pretty much, if you see him from a distance, you're like, hey, that's Merman, not a, not Wolverine. 
Next up, I'm going to show you how these come. This is uh, come a little baggy, and this is obviously going to be faker. So, or uh, my brother Overlord likes to call them fake ore. So some of those millennial uh, noob uh, Motu kids like to call them, but uh, it's faker, not fake ore. Okay, so like most of the figures come with extra hands, which is cool. That helped out for my uh, He-Man figure because the He-Man figure is pretty loose on the hands, but uh, ended up uh, tightening them up with uh, swapping some other hands with them. So there you go, you snap in that arm right there. And the figure's face is pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of a character from Samurai Jack or something. Some bad guy or some weird character. from uh, Not a bad guy, but a, some character from Samurai Jack the first season, I think. The eyes kind of look the same. And then you've got your orange Luke Skywalker looking hair. And... Or carrot top hair, whatever you want to call it. Get your blue little hands. Armor's not bad, but I wish they would have just done the same thing, like used the Skeletor and just painted of it. I guess, I don't know. I don't know. But either way, it, it would have worked, I think, with the Skeletor armor. Just, But I guess they couldn't make that tempo uh, orange or something. I don't know. That's being a little over-analytical, as some people would say, and some toy reviewers do. But uh, over-analyze things. But uh, yeah... It's pretty cool. It's not bad. He's not a bad version of Faker. Or Fake Or. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I am He Man. I am He Man. Hello. How are you, everybody? <laughs> I am really He Man, even though I'm blue. And I have an orange sword and orange locks of hair. But yeah, it's uh, he's the evil robot of Skeletor. It's all, yes. <laughs> Oh, okay. But yeah, that's a look at them all so far. That's all the bad guys. And uh, it's all the good guys right here. And there. Got them all on eBay for about 17 18 bucks or so. And I believe I'm missing two other figures. I believe I'm missing Tila and I'm missing um, Zodak. And I think they also make a, a Evil Inn, which I wouldn't mind getting. But yeah. Anyhow, um, look them up on eBay if you can find them. Just look up uh, Custom Lego uh, he masters of the universe or he man or motu minifigures and you should be able to find them pretty easily uh anyway six for watching y'all and yeah more videos definitely on the way y'all have a good one and uh go have some fun with toys all right later y'all peace